Hello nursery, it's Mrs. Bud and I'm back, hello. Right, I'm gonna show you how to do one of the activities I've asked you to do today, which is to make a sock worm toy. So what I asked you to get hold of was an odd sock, which I've got an odd sock, um, some paper, you don't need any more, some paper's about to go in my recycling bin, so I'm gonna use that. I need a pen, some glue, and some scissors, scissors. Okay, right. So this is what we're going to do. So you start off holding the sock and you need your paper, waste paper. And you need to start scrumpling, scrunching or scrumping it up because that's what you're going to stuff your sock with. All right, so it makes a big noise. It's quite good fun. It's good for those finger muscles. Are you ready to scrumple it with me? Scrumple. So you scrumple one and you put it in the sock. That's number one. And here's another piece. I'm going to pull up my paper and put it in my stick sock. Put it right down to the bottom. There we go. Put two in there so far. And get another piece. Ready, steady, scramble. Let's see if, we've, if we're halfway yet when I put this one in. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'd say we're halfway up the sock, aren't we? If we bend it, you can see it's the same. So we're halfway up the sock or down the sock. If you want to look at it. Right, another piece, ready, steady, scramble. So if we put three in to get halfway, we'll need another three, aren't we? So that's one, two, and one more, which I have already scrambled, and we'll put that in. So let's see if it's full. Yeah, I'd say that was as good as I need it to be. So make sure it's right down to the bottom and it's all in now. What's going to stop it from falling out? That's what we need our elastic band for. Here's the elastic band. There we go. So I'm going to put this on the end of the sock. It will stop all the paper from falling out. So you put it around and you have to twist it. Put it back over the top. Twist over the top. Twist over the top. Twist over. You might be able to do this yourselves. If not, ask your grown-up to help. But you can definitely do the scrumpling up of the paper and stuffing the sock. That's your job for sure. Okay, so now the elastic band's on, the paper can't fall out, so it's secure. Right, so it's a worm shape, and it can wriggle like a worm, but we need to give it some, a face, don't we, a bit of character. So we're gonna use some paper, because we need our paper and our pen. I'm actually gonna use the glue lid as well, because we need to draw around the glue lid to get a circle shape, and we're gonna make two eyes. So I'm drawing around that, down here. Can you see my circle? It's a bit bright. I'm sat in front of the windows. It's a bit bright. If I had put a circle on there, I'd do it with pencil. And I'm going to cut the circle shape out. I'll give you a tip. When you're doing cutting, move the paper, not the scissors. So the scissors, I'm kind of, they're sort of facing away from me. And I'm turning the paper, following the line that I've drawn. It's a really good tip. It's really hard to move the scissors, but you just move the paper. That makes the job a bit easier. Okay, so I've got two eyes ready for my worm. So I'm going to bring those eyes to life a bit by using my pen. And I'm going to draw two, see inside the eye, put a black pu pupil. I'm going to draw that on. Can you see? One on that eye, one on the other one. And also, if you want to, you can add your eyelashes. You can add some eyelashes. Worms don't really have eyelashes, but this is a toy worm, so we can kind of do what we want with it. Okay. So I'm going to put those eyelashes on, you can see what you think. You might want eyelashes, you might not. What do you think? I quite like the eyelashes. Right, then you need your glue and you're going to stick your eyes onto your worm's head. There you go, that's one. And here's the other one. There we go. Now you might want to give your worm a mouth as well as you make a mouth for a worm. So I get the paper back and I need to do a big smiley mouth shape. I'll do that. Smiley mouth. Put some more glue on it. Oh, sticking my fingers. Let's put the smiley mouth. Oh, we've got a really happy worm, haven't we? Yay! 
And this is Wiggly Woo from the song There's a Worm at the Bottom of My Garden. So I'm going to use it now and sing it with you. All right, so when you make your one, you can play with it and you can play games with it. You could play it out in the garden or around the house in the living room in your bedroom. Any way you want to play with your worm, you can get up to all sorts of adventures. <laughs> That's a really happy one, isn't he? Right, so let's sing the worm song. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day no matter what the people might say there's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is wiggly wick wick wiggly wick wick wiggly woo i hope you enjoyed that bye from me bye from wiggly see you later